Getting off the ship today in Punta Arenas, Costa Rica. And we got gangways together. And on this side of the ship is the Coral Princess, pulled in a few minutes ago. Of course, we're on the Emerald Princess. So it's all about the princesses today. We've organized a tour through a land based company here. So we're going to avoid the pirates and all these people. Gray line. I think we have to walk to the end of that dock there. So that's what we're going to do. But first, let's get a look at these ships. Dueling princesses. That would be fun to see, wouldn't it? Please walk on the white lines. And we didn't see any until we looked on the other side of the pier. Those are the white lines. So like a crosswalk. Is that another ship over there? Anyway, it looks like they have uh, dark sand beaches. Almost black, not quite black. So we need to walk the length of this pier. Oh! I guess he saw something to eat. I thought we scared him, but he went right in there. There's a bus backing up here. Of course, we've been walking for hmm, five minutes, maybe. Somebody said it took 15, but I don't think it's going to take 15. So there's the beach. And there's the palm trees, coconut palms on the beach with all sorts of little uh, tarps and shelters. And then Checkpoint Charlie here. And we're gonna get in a nice Mercedes van with Wiffy, it says. Let me have a step here for Taking off now on a Costa Rican Odyssey. Uh, get it? Odyssey tours? Anyway. So there's a cathedral, and they call this Central Park. And I guess that's a museum, he says. Now we're going to be out in the sun again. Christmas tree. One that is old, yeah. that it's basically Alcatraz. Alcatraz of Costa Rica. <laughs> oh. It's called San Lucas and it used to be a jail. Right. It was an open jail so people can just walk by, fish in it. They don't have any wet, they were prisoners. Got a lighthouse here. We'll learn a little more about the mango area and more of this. This is basically. Uh, so it says that's a mangrove swamp across the way. All of that is or you can't hardly this, see it. Driving the other way along the waterfront the now. So the ocean is across the street. So that's or what I'm behind me. No drink Pepsi, I guess. We've stopped to see monkeys. And I guess you can see them there jumping around. Grabbing the camera. It's got fleas. There's a couple up there. One over there. If you look at the trees, you'll see them crawling all over. There's a lot up in the canopy there. Look at that guy. Now he's hanging. I got the banana. I'm getting the banana. Wow. That guy took off when he saw the banana. 
Now now his feeding frenzy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Hey, he's running on two legs. We're making our second stop at a fruit stand. So here's some sugar cane. I don't know what these green things are. They look like huge limes. We got some fruit here for you to try. With flies. Whoops. So lots of fruit here. Here's some uh, coconuts. Of course, they went stripped down. Got your pineapples. They have lots of fruit, all different kinds. They even have these little guys. See inside there? Those big dudes. Those are papayas. Oh, yeah, maybe. That might be breadfruit or some coconut. Come in. I'm going to store. Oh, oh. Dehydrated bananas. Yes. They sell Coke and beer here. Water. Not at all. Suckers. This is carcoles. There's what? There's, there's, there's crocodiles down there. There's two crocodiles right there. Oh. Over 2,000 crocodiles in these rivers. So we pulled off the main road. And we're heading into the jungle. the bus in the jungle and there's like this uh, gold tree see that? and they make these things out canteens like some uh, really big trees and this is like a bridge or something we're coming up to. Oh, but first we're going to stop here. So, St. Lucia. Be careful, slippery when wet. Don't jump. Don't jump. I guess they mean on this bridge. Oh, I see. I'm going up there. Big restaurant here. I'm gonna stand here for a minute. So we're crossing this little creek here. He says there's tilapia down there, but I don't see any. It's cacao, but they're all empty. Uh, there's one reason why all of this is rotting. These trees stick. In Costa Rica, the, the ground has developed a sickness where the trees, both coffee and cacao. And this is the patio. So we've got bats up there. Little thing attached to the wall. Some flew around. There, see? Oh, those are bats. This is a uh, some sort of church, and that's some sort of bar. He said there's always a bar next to a church. I'm not sure why. And now he's making phone calls. Apparently in Costa Rica, they're serious about recycling. 
So we're up in the mountains now, and there's the cruise ships way out there in the ocean. I will point them out. Three dollars? What? They have an entrance, but they include the drink. Surf and turf, Tico. So we stopped here to have a drink. Oh, it's beautiful, huh? Yeah. Yes, you can see the cruise ship right from the Okay, way out there's the cruise ship. I'll try to enlarge that for you. We got a bit of a frog there. A gladiator frog. Uh, no. no. <laughs> gladiator frog, he says? That's what he said. We're coming back down the mountain through the jungle. We only drove up there for the lookout and the beer. That's the bull ring. There's a basketball court. Okay, it's a basketball court. <laughs> so we are at the Crocodile Man Tours Welcome Dock, Pura Vida, Costa Rica. And there's a phone number for you. TripAdvisor. I guess he's calling us over. Oh, sorry, this is not real one. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I use it the whole boat. Permission to come aboard. Uh, it's a pleasure for us to have you here on Tarcoles River, which is the Tarkoles. name of this place, okay? We're going to be here for one hour. Oh. Uh, like and we're going to see water. more than progress in here. Actually, if you see... There's a crocodile there. Did you taste the rice again, guys? Oh, yeah. We yeah. called it Angelina Jolie. Same for everything. They don't eat Costa Rican food, so we're safe. Angelina is like 25 years old. Maybe 10 feet away from me. And we can tell that because of the size. Well, we can't see it very well, but there's a uh, No, those are wild horses. horses. Uh, belongs to a family who raise cattle for mostly for meat purposes and they do tours, uh, horseback riding tours but they like to set them free once in a while that way they don't get stressed, you know they, they just feel they can lose the adrenaline and everything so that's why they just set them free a lot of logs in the river just washed down from the rainforest above And uh, a lot of tires <coughs> and other trash. And there's some white birds there in the bushes. You can see them. Uh, we turned around. I don't know if we're going back or going up the other arm of the river. We chose the smaller one. But so far, you know, I guess we saw three crocodiles. So, there's a crocodile in the water right there. Tornado, the second biggest crocodile of the river. So this is the town of Tarkolis. Super Tarkalos. We've stopped in another area where we could see uh, birds. And it's, of course, near the ocean. And there are birds. Lots of them. There's scarlet macaws up in the trees. But, you know, I can't zoom in enough with this. But I'll insert some photos. And then over here, if you look up, it's a bunch of birds, all different kinds, see them? So I don't know what the deal is with this tree. So there's one, and there's one, and there's a third one up there somewhere. 
Oh. 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 that was for two or two fighting or making love. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. So macaws that are scarlet, not golden blue. Well, we stopped at this restaurant to have our lunch. We got some uh, stuffed fish. It includes a uh, smoothie. Well, I got chicken. Jana got pork. Just salad, some rice, beans. I ate a few. Chicken. Plantains, of course. And these people are all eating now. That's the restaurant we ate at. Marquisseria Vistamar. And now we're going to go through this tunnel where I think somebody's painting. Doing a little graffiti down here. Or art. Ah, we have the bella. Ah, look at this. It's like I'm underwater. Let's go fast. And here we are. Vista Mar. Look, Janet's coming out. Janet's coming out. Janet's coming out. Um, now I don't see anybody else down here. You sure we were supposed to come here? Yep. So you can see the dark sand. It's very powdery. And when it gets wet, it gets even darker. Cruise ship is around that way. They have tires here too. Oh, there's smoke in the forest. I think it's cooking fire though. There's all sorts of junk on this beach. Oh, here comes the tourists. Tourista! There's rocks, and then there's sand, and then there's rocks, and then there's sand, and in order to get over there, well, I got my feet all wet. I'll let you have a look at what I'm talking about. See, another beach, and around that corner is another beach, and so on and so forth. And that's how I did it. They're standing right there. And I almost did it again, although I guess for now it doesn't matter. Anyway, beach in Costa Rica. Speaking of tires. Anyway, this must be Playa Pogaris. I guess. We've turned off the main road. We're in some other little town now. <coughs> Two of these are houses. This is a little town of Quebrada Canal. This is the name of the town. This is a very local town. I'll take you here to see how the locals live. Um, <laughs> this they live with razor wire and lots of it. So we're in the wood shop. It's, uh, and they make stuff out of wood here because it's a wood shop, like back scratchers. We have a wood These. shop ahead near to the restaurant. And painted feathers. Caravita. Sounds like a cat. 
So we have things like this. If you want to carry that back on the ship, look at that. So it opens up too. Daniel, you should make one of those. Jaguar. Hey, Hawaiian shirts. Is that 47 US? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. $47 US or here money? I don't know. Well, here money, that would be a few cents. $18. Yeah, that's $18 US. So he said the wood shop was in the back, but I guess we're not going there. Excuse me. Well, so it's a souvenir stop. Um, you know how tours take you to a place where you can spend money and the tour guide gets a cut. I believe this is our place. Hmm. Wood sided uh, glasses. So as you can see, hey, wooden uh, shot glasses, I guess that is. See, they want $6 for that and $7 for that. I hope these are not endangered. if they are, what are they doing, right? But I'm sure they're not. So for $8, you can get a bottle opener, which doubles as a, that's right, Pura Vida. <laughs> Just like it says. Hi. <laughs> it's a penis. My son would like it. Mobiles, or... Wind chimes. I'll go with wind chimes. Can cozies, seven dollars. Look at that. <coughs> I'm telling you those teeth are sharp too. Maybe they're real. We're driving along the coast now. Haha. Uh -huh. And then a hill came. And you couldn't see anything. And then the water was back. So there's beach all along. I think our tour might be almost over. It's about 1.30. But it was supposed to end about 3, 3.30. So we'll see. So we stopped by the croc statue of Darkulus. Somebody broke the E though, right? The van dropped us off right here. The ships are there. But we're gonna go across the street here to a liquor store. So, Coral Princess, Emerald Princess. This year, next year. Old locks, new locks of the Panama Canal. Anyway, that was our day in Pinturanas, Costa Rica. See you in the next port. Bye.